Kum Lein Rabba Kimura. Today's daf is daf Nunches. We introduce Rabbeinu. <clears throat> so we are continuing some stories about Rabbeinu. The last, <clears throat> we're up to the two dots over here. Five lines, four lines on the bottom of the page. Top of the page. Rabbeinu. Rabbeinu himself. Have a Sayin Ma'arosa. What he went, but one of the activities that he did was, he went out there to find the, the, the caves where they used to bury people. And he would then mark it, put lime wall around it, so we should know where the cave it is. We had a very similar Gemara in, in Shkolim, Yishalmi Shkolim. Ki uh, motu Abram. Now, why he did that is very interesting, because the Rashbam and most of him say he did it so that we should not bring Taras over there, because you'll be a oil, you'll be hovering over a mace. The main thing is for Koyanin. Koyanin need to know where they can walk. And yet, they all omit Koyanin. <clears throat> they just say we're worried about the tariffs. Don't know why they're not worried about Kainim. I think I saw one of the Shayim mentioned Kainim as well. But why they admit that? How many people are careful of tariffs? Okay, how many people have tariffs? Also, mainly Kainim. That's all we had in the end of Khadiga, those people who want to live their lives. Okay, be right. Maybe it's more encompassing. You should say both. Okay. Like the Rajbaz said, you view tariffs there. Okay. Let mention word about the king. Anyway, as you mentioned last time, but I was not going to go to the hush. So he went around all the different capes to market. And Kimoto the Maros, the Roman king, the Hebrew, the Kate Maros, and Machpela. And according to most opinions, the Maros and Machpela had the four, had the, the others and the wives and the Mois buried there, except Rachel and Adam and Chava. There is a Machlek is whether they're <clears throat> one on top of each other, and Adam and Chava were on the bottom, and the others and the Mois were on top. Or one behind each other, and other and Chava were behind, and, and the others were in front. So um, <clears throat> there is a medish that were so others buried there as well. So more continues. The uh, he found the Eliezer. I Avram the Koy Kamei Baba. He found that Eliezer was standing there in front of the thing. And Rishbam brings here a gemsech der cheretz that there were seven tzaddikim who never died, and one of them was Eliezer. Eved Avram. Like the Imran Adorim we had, Eliezer was a doyle mashka, you know, tailor to Achedim, and he was doing all these wonderful things. In fact, we'll see him in. He saw Eliezer standing in front of the, in front of the room, the chamber of Moshe Pela. Amalei, my God, what's Avram what doing right now? Amalei said to him, Gani bekan for the Sara. He is lying in the arms. Avram is lying in the arms of Sara. The Kama'ayna liberation. Sara is looking into the hair of, of, uh, of Avram. <laughs> Big much like is in the in the proportion whether this is literal or this is, uh, um, I, I guess, um, allegorical. But if it's allegorical, they say that camera who says this that each one was showing the mile of the other, the head of Avram because he was a Balmeichin and he was the one who figured out the Abish there on his own. It wasn't just a moon that he came and he collected. So it was his head. That was his biggest mile. So she was looking at the head, admiring his head, and her biggest mile was her Zdaka. That you know how she was so generous and she gave everything else and um, and therefore the arms he was looking at her arms and it's and arms here are called can for wings because wings lift the bird up so these arms were lifted her up and him up so the head I don't remember I don't remember at all. <clears throat> Amalei he said to him zeal Amalei now Chase has asked here a question and interesting Chase has a very simple question. Um, first of all, there was a big argument of Chaim Koyin in the end of Kesubah says in places that of Kufi Yerubbe, he says if he would have been around where Ben Tam passed away, he would have gone to the Levaya, even though he's a Koyin. But Tzadikim b'Misos Nikah Chaim Tzadikim Namatame. So Tzadikim Namatame, why is he going to find the Marzapelo? So to answer him, someone has said because the head of the Esau was there, and it's that head that was all the problems. That's how they want to answer that. <clears throat> so, um, what takes that's an interesting question. Lachayda Avram was a goy. Now, this is very interesting. As you know, if you look in the base, it's, uh, you look at um, the base of Engels' first edit over there about the others, did they have a status of a yid or a goy? Machlek is Rashi and Ban and the and the and the in Proshes Rochim from the Mishnah Melech, a whole arichas about that. Tasis right here says, but he's but he was a goy. Where does Tumah come here? And especially before Matan Tater. And there was no tumor for Mantra. He says, Adam Kiyamus Ba'il, future tense. That's what Tesla says in Yavamus. 
that the whole dinam of Tum only started after Man Tayyid and after, in fact, um, you know, the second year when he says Adam Kiyam is Bayil in, in future. That means there was no Tum before. But he asked the question, he's a Goy. And we learn out that uh, a Goy is not Metame, you know, Adam Kiyam is Bayil, Adam Atam, and Goy are not called Adam. So, Mefarshim or Achrenin, who quotes Tayyid, quotes something that Tayyid does not say. So they say Tayser answers that Rambam is a yid, but our Tayser does not say that, and I've never seen Tayser say that. Not here, not in Yevamos. We talked about this. Not in Nida. We talked about this. Um, Tayser says that Avram was called an Adam. He was a chashuva person, so he was called Adam, not her Adam, which means that Tayser clearly holds that Avram was a guy. He doesn't change his premise. If Avram, he starts off, Avram is a guy. <clears throat> so look at what's going on here. <clears throat> Um, and yeah, so 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 the um, and others use this as a raya that that Avram was actually Yid. Forget that's the raya that Avram had a dinner of Ben Yisrael, and therefore they, they generate tumor. They do generate tumor. Anyway, so, so what's happening? So he said, "Oh, if so, zil emule bana koy ababa. Tell him that that, that, that I'm outside. Amale leil me amale leil. Avram even said, come inside." May the yada he knows the yetsa by Almalek will see me lying in the lap of Sara, Pasnish, but he knows no yetsa hurry here. From here, in Shalorach learns out that you're not allowed to do in public um, what do you want? things of endearment between a husband and wife that you do at home, you're not allowed to do in public. See right here. And the Bernard did, you know, he was lying on the lap, but Abnoya was uh, waiting to get, let's see whether he, whether he can come inside or not. And then Avram's answer is there's no yetsa hurry here. That means anywhere else, Taka shouldn't walk in. Um, Ayil, he went in. Ayil, he saw the Nopeg, and he, so he went, measured whatever it is, and he went out. Kimoto, the Marta, the Mishnah, he wanted to go to the other Mauritians. The other Basque, I'm like, enough. This Takal to be demusiated. You look at Yaakov Avinu, who looked like Adam. So you look like, you look at like someone that looks like me. I made other Mauritians himself. Altistak, you can't come in. So he said, but I have to uh, you know, designate where it is. So he said, If you hold like the opinion that was Zulif Nimiz there, one room behind the other, you should know the exact same measurements that you found in the first, where the others and the Mois are. So there were three couples. Uh, you'll find in the room behind by other magicians. So don't go, have to go in. You can just straight away measure it. Or, if you hold this one on top of the other, in fact, what do you have to measure for? One on top of the other. What what's exactly the issue? I'm not sure. This is the Basque. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Or, according to that opinion, the Basco said something else. Not that Basco said that two opinions. The Basco said made a declaration. The question is the problem, which one was it? I looked at his two heels. The daimon lishnei galgali chama looked like the two balls of the sun. That in other words, other magician, even his lowest madrega was higher than than even the oil of the oil hashemish. Hakol bifnei Sada kikayf bifnei Adam that everyone compared to the beauty of Sada was like a monkey. Sada bifnei Chava kikayf bifnei Adam, but Sada compared to Chava was like a kayf. Chava bifnei Adam kikayf bifnei Adam, and then Adam bifnei Shchin kikayf bifnei Adam. Each one was was more beautiful than the next. Shufre that Rav Kahana that the beauty of Rav Kahana had as a side of the problem is an ain't Shufre the Rav according to one version is like Rav. Shufri the Rab came Shufri the Rabu, and Rab was like Rabu. <clears throat> he was the one that the the, the, the the royal family liked very much. Shufri the Rabu mein Shufri the Yaakov Avinu, and the beauty of Rabu was like the beauty of Yaakov Avinu, and Shufri the Avinu mein Shufri the Avinu. And that's what we said before. You saw you saw the Yaitni, but you can't see the original. Ahu Hamgusha, there was this magician, the Habichotti Shach, he used to go and steal from Kvarim. There's a name for it. People go in and steal, go into the cave, take the clothes, and Kimote Amaros Rav Tuva Masna. When this Amgushi came to the cave of Rav, Rav Tuva Masna, Tufse Rav Tuva Masna got out of his cave and Tufse Bedik they got a hold of him in his beard. Osa Abaya, Abaya came along, and interesting, his mom says because Abaya was a good friend of this magician. When did Abai have time to be a friend of a Goyish magician? And why would he be a friend of a Goyish magician? There's nothing more to it. Well, that's what says. They were friends. 
Anyway, so Abai went to the cave. The Metushan, I plead with you. Shavke, let him be. He learns lesson. The Shon Achedes, Adoros, he came again. Tov Shibedikna, again, the Tuba got out of his cave, grabbed the hold of his beard. Also, Abai, Abai came, Loi Shavke. Abai pleaded, he didn't refuse. Adai, see, Mishpera, the Gazi, the Dikna, only way Abai had to save him is he brought a scissor and cut his beard off. So, so um, the Chayda, we know the beard is the source of Panosa. So, um, right, you could, you, the lawyer said, you give him to Queen Dikna. So, I'm um, totally was trying to say to him, you have a beard, what do you have to go and schlep a mason for? He didn't learn his lesson. He tried a second time. In Baze, you have no right to have a beard because you don't appreciate, and you know this guy was a guy, and he uh, cut him off. <clears throat> What's the relevance here that he was a magician or not? I'm not sure. What's in the gay here? <clears throat> I would, talking about Abinor, now I'm talking about how, how wise he was. I would only, a person was dying, he didn't want people to know that he was wealthy. So he got up and he said to the father, we have three sons. Chavisa da Afro Lechabre, one of my sons should have a barrel of dirt. Chavisa da Garmi Lechabre, the other son should have a barrel of, of bones. And Chavisa da Udri Lechabre, another one should have a barrel of materials, cotton, wool, and all that. Have you my cover? I don't know what he's talking about. <clears throat> also, the Kame that he's very discreet, people didn't realize that he was a wealthy person. They want people to know. As the Klayoka says in the end of Pasha Dvarim, he says that you have to you have to learn how to be discreet and not ostentatious. Tough. Also, the Kamei Dabinoy, Kamei Dabinoy, Amaluhu Islechu Aras, Amaluhu said to them, I think your father was very clever. Tell me, your father owned properties? Amaluhu Islechu Chavos, your father owned cattle? Amaluhu Islechu Bistarki, do you have material, wool? In. Yehachi, if so, Hachigam, who's exactly what he meant. Now what? That the, 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 the dirt is karka that goes to that sun. The bones is the cattle that goes to that sun. And the wool is the material that goes to that sun. Augab is a person, this is an incredible story. There's a person, the Shamal I mean, imagine what's going on here. His wife, he heard a conversation his wife had with his daughter. The Ka'amr Labart, she says, daughter, look, I know you're being Mazanin, but what you have to make it so public, do it discreetly, like me. Amai Lai Shaniya Bi when you do Yisudim, do it discreetly. Ha'chitza, she's talking about herself now. She's confessing to her daughter. I saw the bunny, Isli, you're my daughter, but I have 10 sons. The Leslie Mabuk Lechad, only one of them is your father. She was very busy. But how does she know that, that it wasn't her husband, unless they didn't have any, any uh, relationship? If they didn't have any relationship, then how can the husband didn't know that they were mom's dating already? So something's sort of a little bit missing in the story, unless they knew how to do DNA tests back then. <clears throat> Shachiv. So the, and the husband overheard this conversation. So he realized that, that his nine children weren't really his. So it wasn't just a problem of Mamzadim, they weren't his children. Kishachi, when he died, Amalu, he said, Kom the father was very was a smart man. He said, I want only one of my sons to Yash everything. But he didn't nominate which one, because he didn't know which one was his real son. The Yadlum and Hamanai, no one knew which one. Also the Kabe Bana, they came to Bana, what should we do? Uh, he understood right away what was going on there without knowing the story. Go and, and bang on the cable of your father. To reveal which is the one that he left it to. And as Bam explains in the first half of his Bam, that we said in Sefer Sefer, that um, Mam Zaydim had chutzpah. So, and, and it's a big chutzpah to take a stick and hit your father's cable. So all those children who are Mam Zaydim will have the chutzpah. They didn't. The real child won't. Other kula. The real son did not go. All the nechas in my dead son. The Rishbam finishes off. He starts off about this mamza thing and he finishes off. There's a we heard before when you don't know what to do. Should the diner and machlek is the Rashi the main time. What should the diner mean? So this whether should the diner means tam. You know, the Rabbi Tam says bezin just does whatever they want. Rashi says no. You try to understand. Put yourself in the mind of that person. What do you think he was thinking? And and he and he said because this kid is so so um, well refined, it must be the father loved him more than anybody else. He probably gave him. And everybody tries to understand that his mom. He started off saying it's a mice the mom's there, and and therefore if the real kid wouldn't do it. Then it's a mice and should have died. So and and nowhere does he declare that they're mamzadim or not. So it sounds like that even though that they misbehaved, he couldn't formally say that they're mamzadim because he doesn't really know they're all something mamzadim. But what and and I guess even this one child, can he pass him based on this that he's not a mamza because of his behavior? It was still a suffering mamza. So he didn't come out of the psaki. He didn't mention a word about mamza at all. But what he did say was that 
that I'm sure the father loved him. The real reason why the father loved him is because he's probably the only one that was his son. And the father recognized him. Oh, good imagine. What master to the king? The other nine brothers got a hand to They got no inheritance. The entire Yerusha went to this other brother. They went master to the king. There's a man here. They come mapping the money. The court, you know, you have courts, and this guy over here is, is making his own rules and, uh, and, and, and defiance of the government law that you only can go to court. And with no proof of nothing. I'm sure they went to Kopshu and they reconsiderated him. Also, the visa looked like his wife was just as smart as he was. And obviously, he married a very smart woman. Amr al so she went and told the government, I have a big problem. I need to tell me what you should do. Abdul Khad, have they had a servant? Pashkul in Asia, somebody went, cut his head off. Pashkul in Moscow, stripped the hide off, the skin off. Akhul Bisa, ate up the Thai meat. The Kamala bin Mayan took the skin and filled it with water. Umashwe the Khabrain gave it to his friends. Lakayavli the Laydami Lagi gave me nothing for it. They sat there, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were puzzled. What in the world is she talking about? They were scared to ask her, tell me, pshat, because that's embarrassing. The woman comes and they don't understand. Amri, they said, we can't figure out what she's talking about. Let's get the smart person. They all agreed that Rabbi Noah was a smart person. He was in jail. And Belem, maybe he can tell us what her story is. They called Rabbi Noah. He said, she was talking about a goat, not a person. Somebody stole the goat. And um, and you basically stripped the hide off. They stole all the meat of the goat, and they took the hide and made a canteen out of it, and they didn't pay. But it was only a muscle. You took my husband from me, and you put him in jail, and you, and, and I got nothing from it. I'm alone now. Amri, they said, "Oh, the chatim kul hai, so wise. Lace of Abba of India, let him become a dying taka by us." Because he saw that because he saw that on the wall on his arch was written there, called Dayan the Miskiru Ladin Loish Medayan. That any judge that was taken to a, to a court case on account of money, that means this judge really loves money. He's easily um, corrupted. We can't have him as a judge. Omar Luhi said to them, you know what? Every time someone is like a judge, he'll make up a hill, he'll take the judge to court, and that's it. He disqualifies the judge. That's not fair. Umizamni Ladin Apostle, he will disqualify the judge. Maybe we should amend the sign as follows. Called dying the miscarriage any dying that was taken to court. He was found to be guilty that you had to go to court to get him to pay money. Then, then he obviously he, he's corruptible and we can't have him as a dying. So interesting what they wrote. So they changed the sign. They, they left the original sign up. Instead of just taking it off, they left it on and they added the following phrase. The rum, how, in truth, Savi the Yadar, the elders of the Eden, Amri, they say, So they didn't want to, you know, show that they, they did the wrong thing. They just added on another phrase. <clears throat> but they acknowledged that it was the, the wise of the Eden. And the Mephosh would already say, if the reason why the dying didn't, if the dying has to swear in order to be exonerated from paying, and he refuses to swear because they took an oath very seriously, then that's not a corruptible person. So then the problem is that every dying will say the reason why I, I, I ended up paying the money is because I don't like swearing. Oh, no. Anyway, he wants to invite Then he saw, the Ksiv, it says, that the cause of all deaths are not done, is blood, no words, because the circulation. In those days, we learned so many Gemaras, how a cause of dam was so important, and there's so many rules around extracting the blood to make it circulate better, and then likely, you know, they had bankers, whatever they did, had leeches to get the blood to circulate, and that's the cause of all deaths. So, no, it's, it's a reminder, make sure you go see your doctor and, and do what you have to do. So, and then it says, Kol chayin ano and I am the cause of all living, wine. Wine is the source of life. So, so, so Rabbanon said, one second. El me to tell me. The Nafal Meagle, the guy falls off a roof of Mesa, he dies. Or the Nafal Medical of the Mesa, he falls off a palm tree and he dies. Dhamma Kotle, what, the blood caused him to die? How can you make a sign? All, all deaths are caused by, you know, surplus blood. Basu, man the dark man, a guy who's dying on his deathbed. The Mashkin the Khamlas, give him wine. The Chai will live. It can't make everybody without exception. Maybe you should amend it as follows. The Rosh Komadi, the cause of all sicknesses, not death, sicknesses, is Anodam because of the, the circulation. And the Rosh Kol Asin, the best medicine is Anodhamma wine. Kosovo, again, they didn't want to acknowledge they made a mistake, so they wrote. It left whatever original they had, and they had Barum. So you do, Amri, the Rosh Komadi, the Dam, 
cause of all illness is the blood, but the cause of all um, diseases is wine. And by sadless chama, if you have no wine, is is tambon mitzvah, and then you use medicines. The Vilna Gaon has a pshat here in, in his Mishnah. He writes a lot of Kabbalah things. He writes over there. The pshat here is that um, picky of us is is full of um, is midas. It's all about midas. How to fix this midas, that midas. But then come along Ben Bagba and says, What's Ben Bagba saying? That if you learn Taita, you don't have to work with individual midas. The Taita fixes up the whole person. <clears throat> that's what I, that's what the Bible is trying to say. The Kaila Bob, you don't have to go through every mission and pick your others to know how to fix this mission. That means that I bought me this bottom. None of that. So, this is what he's saying here. Dam is Tibus. So, the cause of all bad midas is Tibus. That's the downfall. It's the downfall of everybody. It's Tibus. Wine is Taita. So he says, if you learn Taita, all you need is one medicine. No matter what midra you have, all you need is wine. Tater and it fixes up the whole person. However, if you're not someone who sits on the tater, then you need an individual medicine. You have to work with each meter individually to fix it up. That's what we're trying to say. Anyway, then he continues there. Um, then he saw, as Machleg is showing this continuation, was a stam unrelated, as Ashbam said. A pischa de Kupakaya, you're talking about doors, up signs on the entrance of Kupakaya, and that's the step place we talk about money and condition there. That, you know, if you, you make a get or you're, and you go to Kupakaya, how much you should pay because the, the value of the currency was different. He says that Anpik Ambig Antel. These are three words that all describe the, the amount of a revius. I want to tell you, and and why do you have to know that? If you buy something and the, and the person uses the word ampik or anbig or antl, you know we're talking about a revius. And it's called a revius shal tater because we learn it's, it's, we learned the Arab kaisas dimnos and rabbonon from the tater. But it's, it's, it's interesting that Rajbam says it, but it's, it does not say it's salty. But says he got the kachti vehevesi, and he misses up with salty. The Rebbe talks about the order in the in, in Arbi Pesachim, but Rashi different order. But here, the Rashbam misses the word with salty, and instead he brings the vesi. That I'm not sure why. <clears throat> I'm just, yeah, yeah, so that's what's called the revius. It's the revius of the tater because in the Arab cases there's a smach we rely on the tater here. It says he got the kachti vehevesi. Anyway. And that's an avia shal tayda. So it's an avia shal tayda. Next mission. We're continuing about things of chazak. And the general rule is, if it's something permanent and the guy lets you have it, three years according to Rajbam, other Rishayim say a lot less, three days or nothing, is um is a chazak. But if something that's temporary, you can move it around. And the reason why I didn't complain is because I now was at I'm not midas doim. I don't mind. But I need it. I'll take it back. Mishnah. Amar zib ein le chazak. Now in in a roof you have. You have the, the 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 gutter. You have this big pipe that goes the entire length of the roof that collects the the the, the storm water, the rainwater, and then you have a wooden piece that you add on to one of the one of the ends or both ends, so the water should shouldn't sit there on that pipe. It should all go down. So what happens? You have a you have a roof of a house here and the huts of somebody else, a neighbor over there, and you have your water dripping into your neighbor's huts, and you have this you have the marzim you have the maschil. The marziv is that part that you put at the end so the water should uh, should not run down your wall and ruin your wall, should you know, push it away from the wall. That is easily mobile, portable. So there's no chazaka there. Ah, you let you do it there? So, so I thought if I ever need that area, I'll move, make you move. This is the Bala Chatzah who allows the guy, the, the roof, to have his marziv there. Oh, but the yeshle became a chazaka. Now this is sort of a, put a span in the words. But there is a chazaka for its place. What does that mean? You just said there's no chazaka, and then you're saying there's a chazaka that once it's there for a while, you can leave it there. What's going on? Let me explain. Hamaschila yesh the chazaka. The maschila, that big long pipe, that's a big, and that's permanent. You know, once you put it there, you put it there. And the balbasin, the owner of the chutz, didn't say anything, it can stay there. Sulam ham mitzi, if you have um, this, a short ladder and you put it next to the guys uh, um, in the chutz so you can climb on your roof and clean your gutter, you know, the leaves and all that, ain't the chazaka. Because the ladder can be moved. So right now, it doesn't care if you position your ladder there. If it's a large ladder that's sort of fixed, then yes, the chazaka. And he allowed you to keep it there for three years is a chazaka. So you also machlek is whether you have to have a tiny or just the fact you're michael. Chaloin hamitzis ain't the chazaka. If you have a small tiny window, there's no chazaka. If you have a small window, you want to look at the, to, at your. Um, What's going on outside around you? There's there's, uh, there's no chazaka here. The other guy can put a wall right in front of your window and block you out. 
<clears throat> but uh, all the, we're talking about not a window that you did for sunlight. Because sunlight, we, we learned before that, you know, if you have a chazak for sunlight, the guy cannot block your window. Here the window was to see what you want to know what's happening in, the, in your yard, in the backyard. Um, if it's a proper big window, yes, there's a chazak. What's a chalamitzis? Such a small window, your head can't fit through. So there's no chazak there. Rabbi Yudah says, Im yesh malbin, but even it's a small window, there's a frame. That's a permanent thing already. It's not just a hole in the wall. You actually build a frame. Even though it's so tiny, it's says, to explain me the part of the Mishnah, but the yesh chazak, yesh chazak. No chazak, yesh chazak. The Rav gives three different possibilities. At the snapshot of Mishnah, Om Rav Yishmuel, it will have a chazaka as far as the principle. It won't have a chazaka as far as where it's positioned. So this is how it goes. Rav Yudah said in Mishmuel, Hachikamer, Hamazav ain't lo chazaka v'ruchachas. He has it on the north side. No chazaka. The guy can say, "Don't put it there. Put it on the south side." You could get him to move it from side to side. Or but the yeshle mekayme chazaka. But the idea of having a mazid that he already has a chazaka. If he's there for three years, you can't say remove it all together. Get to the little spout over there, move it all together. You can't say that. Bishtei ruches from both sides. I don't want you to have any more that you can't. He has a chazaka. The question is only which side. Okay. Rab Chanina, Rab Chanina says hamazid ain't like chazaka. What do you mean? Shema yaruch mekatsrei. If the if it was long. He can say, look, it's too long. Make it, you know, the, you're, it's going into my chutz, three, a whole meter. Cut it down to half. That he can say. But the tell him to remove it all together, that ain't no oikir, he can't. Again, so mekayim means the idea of very similar, except for which side, just the, the length. Rabbi Yibar Abba has another pshat. Hamazir ain't le chazaka. She even writes a little as tachtav, the owner of the chutz was underneath the spout, wants to build underneath it. Boina. You can't stop him. The guy in the Mazda can't say to the Chatzah, even though it's your Chatzah, but now I've been here, I don't like you building things on the You can't do that. Oh, but the yesh to become a Chazok, which means, if he tells him, I want you to remove this spout, he can't. So they're all saying, you can't tell him to remove it. But what can he do? So according to third opinion, nothing to do with the spout itself, to do what he wants to build underneath. Pretty much, I don't understand. Tanan and our mission said, this big thing, pipe has a Chazok. Now, what do you mean has a Chazok? In what way? That means that he can stop the the guy in the no. But in contrast to the to the um, to what he called to the maziv, in this case of here, the maskil chazaka means he according to Rabbi he can stop the guy from building things underneath it. <laughs> on what basis? And might have committed to to the pipe what goes on underneath on the ground. The first two explanations shop here. That over there, what you can't tell him to touch it at all. Pipe is permanent, and you let him three years. That's it. El leman do amash im ratzel lidnes tachta boyne that by that by maz is allowed to build underneath and what and by and by the maschil he cannot build underneath. My nafkeli mina. What what right does he have to stop the balachotzer from building things underneath his his uh, his his his, his, his god over there? On what basis? So the Gemara no. Talking about the case the maschil shall be in We're talking about that the, that this gutter was made out of stone. And if this guy is going to build something permanent, let's say, he'll, and it's not banging on the floor, it's going to it's going to you know shatter or vibrate to the, the stone there, and it might break and crack. So therefore, once he has a chazaka, he can tell him the armalele nicheli the tisrashi. So now that I have a chazaka, me and according to Rosbam, he says I bought it from you the rights. Included in that is that you're not going to do anything underneath that's going to cause it to crack. Okay, we'll stop over here and tomorrow.